What's that? What's that? You see the cows? You see those cows? You see those cows over there? That's right, it's the same herd. I'm impressed that you're not barking. What do you think? I'm getting ready to finish the last of the <clears throat> preparations on the track. Uh, I already went and did some work with the chainsaw the other day and I could see there's still some more I need to do. And actually with the amount of stuff that I've cut out of the way, I probably won't need to get hay bales. So time to get to work. <laughs> Never want to go too tight. I've never broke a chain ever, so I trust uh, the way I've been doing it, the way I was shown to do it. Back in my day, I've cut many a cords of wood. Managed to uh, be safe the entire time, so I've used bigger saws than this. But this is a good one for carrying in the RV. All right, we're good to go. Okay, that is definitely safer if somebody slides sideways into this. They're only going to hit the cage. There's nothing protruding that's going to mess anybody up as they're coming around this corner right here. So, And same with this. If somebody coming in to make this corner to turn down the new track happens to get the back end out, I think we're pretty much clear of most everything. It should probably just lightly tap their cage but there's I don't see any reason to put a hay bale there's not enough speed generated either direction even if you're completely sideways even in a faster machine there's only so fast you're going to go before you spin out and you're going to you're going to start spinning out long before that so I mean I can still do hay bales but I'm gonna I'm gonna drive around and see what else I can cut <laughs> Little tram. That tree cleaned up. I got that one trimmed.
sandbags and I moved them in another two feet, straightening this corner out a little more. And I trimmed that, trimmed the heck out of that tree. So that's set up. If somebody get, gets out of shape going through that corner, uh, same thing. I trimmed that one there. So it's a lot safer if somebody blows the corner. Yep, looking good. That's all trimmed. Scout her out for a morning walk. I heard some cows, so I expect we're gonna come across some cows here soon. Isn't that right, girl? Yeah, we got so much rain the other day that there's actually moisture coming back up in all the ground. Get up in the morning and all the ground is slightly wet everywhere. Plus we got below the dew point. Yeah, it's awesome out here right now. It's, I think it's like 52, 53 degrees. It's like 645. It's absolutely beautiful. Sun has come up. I don't know if any of you have ever listened to Alan Watts. Um, I'm not sure when he died, but he was uh, like an intellectual speaker from, uh, I don't know, the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Uh, but anyway, look it up on YouTube and watch some of the videos and tell me what you think. Very interesting to hear the man speak and to hear his perspective on things. Yeah, I decided to just walk the track real quick just to see if the cows came over here. This is a lot of times one of their favorite spots to come to. You know, I'm really bad about looking up what plants are what out here, but I think I remember somebody telling me that this is, they refer to it as the cow plant, but look at the size of this one. Beautiful, it makes these beautiful purple flowers. Amazing. Amazing. There they are. Cows are over there in the other side of the field towards the the edge of Baja's property over there. And I'm gonna keep scouting away. I don't know what she'll do. It's funny, she still doesn't see me. She's just not that observant yet. She's still a puppy. I was driving on the road out the other day and a coyote ran across the road about a quarter mile ahead of us. And she didn't see it at all. Even when I pulled up next to the area where it had run, the field where it had run off and rolled the window down and stopped, she still didn't see it. And it was watching us the whole time. Oh, there it is. She sees him now. What's that? What's that? You see the cow? You see those cows? You see those cows over there? That's right. It's the same herd. I'm impressed that you're not barking. What do you think? I like how you're just sitting. What a good girl. Yeah, you're just sitting and walking. Good girl. Good We're going to keep our walk to the racetrack. We're not going to go over there. You, you don't need to chase them. They're enjoying all this wonderful green grass. You know, and I noticed that out of a lot of areas around here, our field here has more grass in it than a lot of the surrounding areas. You know, now that I've got this track finished, it's honestly, it's the smoothest road I've been on out here in this whole area, not just our property. I mean, if I had a tractor, this would be a whole different track. There'd be banks on the turns and there'd be all kinds of stuff, probably a couple of small jumps. But uh, hey, sometimes you just gotta work with what you got. And don't be scared. Yeah, you just wanna go back home, don't you? You scared? You saw the cows and now you're scared? <laughs> yeah, look at you, tail down, you're moving like you're scared, ears back. <laughs> Pulling on the leash. <laughs> Baby girl, are you scared? Are you scared? Come on. <laughs> Look at you, you are scared. <laughs> yeah, you hear the cows and you're scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, Scout. 
all the sage bushes start to fill out and are getting a little bit taller and now there's grass filling in between. When I watched that coyote run away the other day, it was down the road a ways, but it blended right in. It's gonna be a lot harder to see the predators out here this year, this season. When everybody gets here for the vow renewal and Aja's birthday, we're gonna have a lot of small dogs here and stuff. The way it went last year is, as soon as all the people got here, the pack of coyotes kind of surrounded this property and uh, would come in several times a day and evening and mornings looking for an easy meal. And uh, they're gonna be harder to see now. Being so scared, you're just darting around. Being a panicked dog. I don't like panicked dogs. You got nothing to be scared of right now, so I'm not gonna cater to it. You're being a wimp. Come on, Scout, quit being so scared. You're literally darting all over the place. Hey, hey, stop. Hey, Scout, hey, pay attention. Pay attention. Quit being so scared. You're starting to dart around. There we go, there you go. Keep the leash relaxed. You're okay. You're all right. There's nothing to be scared of. You literally have nothing to be scared of. Yeah, probably one of the biggest issues that she has right now with her behavior is when we get around people, she gets so unbelievably excited and, you know, she jumps up on people and I'm really working with her, but she's, she's a smart dog. So every single person has to teach her individually to stay off of them. You almost have to teach them in every scenario. Stay off you in the car, stay off you when you're sitting down, stay off you when you're standing, stay off you when you're inside, stay off you when you're outside. All right, so right now I'm standing in the shade of the shipping container. Got one of my favorite cigars. Last year, we had maybe a couple of small branches like this that turned green out of all this dried stuff. You know, I mean, that's this part's actually dead, but Look at the way the rest of this just came back, but I mean, this year we've gotten eight, 10, sometimes 12 inches of brand new growth. I mean, this is, uh, yeah, something else. Yep, this is where my girl came over here and started to dig. Somebody needs to tell my dog that she's not a beagle. She likes to dig. She likes to dig a lot. So this little contraption is called the Ranch Flytrap. Uh, we just bought a very cheap four pack of them off of Amazon. I think it was like 18 bucks. But anyway, this fly trap works great. You put the bait down here in this bowl and uh, you gotta refresh it every once in a while and they fly in and they don't get out. Let's go over here and see how my other one's doing. It's got a couple holes in it. Ooh, it's got a praying mantis inside and looks like he's, look at how fat he is. He's been in there gorging on all these flies. <laughs> Look at that, but he can't get out. But he's got an endless supply of food. Look how fat his belly is. All right, I'll show everybody out there in YouTube land something interesting. So I found this hole about three months ago. I don't think anything's living in there anymore, but I've been taking all the, uh, all the carcasses, all the mice and rats and everything, and I've been pouring them down the hole. Figure, you know, something wants to come get a snack there. They can get it right there. Keeps it out of the way. So anyway, over here, I set up some steel targets. When my nephew gets here, we're gonna do some shooting. And this is on a section of my land that slopes uphill. So I've got this uh, little hillside here to capture all the splatter and everything. But I set up two steel targets and then I kind of made a shitty makeshift target. I need to do something better than having the chain on the front. I mean, as soon as we hit the chain, that's gonna break, but uh, it's gonna work good. Unfortunately, these steel targets are not rated for rifle and you couldn't shoot a rifle this close. I'll do a video on shooting steel targets in competition and what you need to do to have it be safe. Uh, because uh, shooting steel inherently can be dangerous. I kid you not, a freaking whole swarm of bees, a whole cloud of bees just flew all the way through and the whole swarm just kept going up that way onto the next property. I don't hear them anymore. I could hear them coming and then I saw the cloud. Luckily they were, you know, 40 feet away from me. And that was weird. I was just literally walking through that field too. Wow. And it's weird, not one of them is left behind. They all kept flying. 
<laughs> Wish I could have grabbed the camera in, in time. All right, so I'm making chicken again with tahini on it. Seems like we have that about two or three times a week now. Man, it's so good. Got some corn on the cob. Look at homie from his little perspective. He's got to run through all this grass and it looks like it's all gone to seed. That's what these little, uh, that's what these little tiny pieces are here. And those are all seeds. Yep, they're all over his face. <laughs> little buddy's got to push his way through. Come on, bud. Come on, homie. Look, he's got grass seeds all over his face. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd come over here and show you the sunset, the whole 360. It's amazing. Every night out here is a beautiful sunset. Arizona definitely has some awesome sunsets. Look at that. Tell you what, the natural beauty of nature, nothing else like it.